Yo, what's up, everyone? Boss Get Up. This is Val Ramos, and today's DJ tour, I want to discuss why the reverb effect is your best friend as a DJ. And I'm going to use the example on the DJ 1000 of using reverb to mask imperfections in mixing. Now, I think reverb can really enhance buildups. It can help you develop your transitions. But what reverb can also do is it can mask imperfections. So if you have two tracks that are maybe slightly out of key or slightly off time and you cannot figure out how to fix the beat action, you can actually use reverb and apply reverb on only one track to essentially erase that track and then immediately go into the next track. So it can kind of be a quick mix to where you can use reverb as an effect to mask the outgoing track that maybe isn't mixing perfectly with the incoming track and you can smoothly but surely remove that track from the mix. So I'm going to play two tracks of mine. Both are around 128 to 130 BPM and you're going to hear that the keys are not perfectly coinciding. They're, they're close, but not quite there. One is on the Camelot scale of 7A, the other one's 9A, so they're very close. One will have beats and the other one will not, but I'm going to scratch the second track and then I'm gonna use reverb to fade out the outgoing track. So here goes. Okay, so this is my track Alone. This is a collaboration with Demir. This is Val Ramos and Demir Alone featuring Israeli. It will release on 24 March 2023. tracks in the mix, I'm going to use reverb now on just the first track. Okay, so there was a natural phrase shift or section shift in the second track, and that is when I apply the reverb on the outgoing track. So what happened there is around bar nine of the incoming track, that is when I remove the outgoing track, but at bar seven, eight and, and going towards nine, that's when I heightened this reverb effect. And I only had the reverb applied on my DJ 1000 to track number one. So you have the level depth knob, then you have the track knob for this reverb. I turned the reverb on, I applied the effect with the level depth knob, and then only applying this to track number one, I was able to basically fade out that track. So here's what it sounds like with just the outgoing track playing. So here's the outgoing track. I'm going to play this reverb now. See, so you, you, you can barely hear the drums. And that's how I cut the track out. So with this reverb, you can basically mask that track. Now these tracks were closely aligned in key and they were jiving for the most part, but if they're not perfect together in the mix, this reverb is a great trick to mask. Now I'm gonna show you how you can use this reverb when you're in a buildup section of a track. You can use this to heighten the sense of space, create this wider sense of space, and then bring everyone sharp and present into the mix when the drop hits. So we're gonna start from the buildup section of my track alone, and I'm gonna apply this reverb on this track as we're going towards the build up. And then when I remove the reverb, maybe one bar prior to the drop or right at the drop, the drop is gonna be that much more impactful. So at about four bars prior to the drop, you can also do this at eight bars or even 16 bars, but I'd recommend four eight bars prior to the drop. That's when you can start applying this reverb. And then one bar prior to the drop, especially on EDM, sometimes there's that vocal phrase to as like pre-drop fill before the drop hits. That's when you can cut the reverb or you can bring the reverb almost all the way to the right up to the moment when the drop actually hits the listener. And then that's when you can remove the reverb from the mix and then the drop is that much more impactful. So you have it. Those are two examples on how to use reverb. Reverb is your best friend as a DJ, so please do not hesitate to use this effect. And so there you have it. I'll see you in the next video.